here on Good Things is our friend. Uh, she's a chef, a cook, a cookbook author, and also on today's show's food editor, Elizabeth Haskell. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Rebecca. How are you, honey? I know you're probably tired because I caught you live on NBC this morning, I guess somewhere in the <laughs> 7 o'clock hour, whipping up these um, snacks for election night. And I said, well, if they can get her, her hometown needs her today, too. So thank Absolutely. you for, for making the time. But I thought, what a fun way to at least lighten the mood. So let's yeah. just talk about tomorrow night. We're going to be up. We're going to be watching it. How can we sort of make some snacks to make you know, make it as much fun as possible. Well, you know, the bottom line is it's going to be a long night. I mean, it may be a, it may be a long few weeks, um, sadly, but we know tomorrow night is going to be a long night. So you want to focus on snacks that are going to, you know, last. They're not going to wilt. They're not going to, um, you know, lose their luster as the night goes on. And I don't know about you, but when I'm nervous, I'm going to do, you know, I want salty, I want sweet, I want salty and sweet together. Like, I, you know, anything to take my mind off of what makes me nervous. And so that's kind of what we focused on um, with this segment. And, and I think that's what our, your guests need to, to focus on and to be thinking about. Um, so, for example, one of the things, since we all just had Halloween, um, I love to make this pantry popcorn. It's so easy and literally all i do is i take you know that half empty bag of goldfish or maybe if i've got some cheese bits or a few pretzels um i threw in a bunch of halloween candy that i wanted to get rid of m ms peanuts chex mix i mean you can throw anything in it it's just that perfect combination of, of salty and sweet the only thing you have to worry about or this is what i got into yesterday I would taste a bite, and I would go, no, I need a little bit more sweet. So then I'd add a few more sweet things, maybe <laughs> some raisins, and I had chocolate-covered raisins from, from Halloween and a few other things. And then it was like, no, it's too sweet, Now I need to add a little salty. So I did that for about an hour until my stomach started hurting. I finally decided to leave, leave it alone. <laughs> Well, I think that's just a great idea of the way to utilize our Halloween candy, plus, you know, um, let the kids enjoy it for a little bit longer. But that's great for having a big bowl of that tomorrow night to sort of munch on. I saw you two t making homemade chips. You made them look so easy, Elizabeth. What's the secret to maybe making chips at home if we want to dive into that idea? So, you know, it's not hard. Um, I think any time we, we get into frying, whether it's uh, frying chicken or frying um fish or potatoes or anything like that, it, 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 for some reason it makes us a little bit nervous, or I guess maybe I should put myself in the category because it just kind of makes me nervous. And every time I do something like that, you know, fry a big batch of potato chips, I realize how simple it is. And, um, you know, and, and all you're doing is literally slicing potatoes super, super thin. Um, I like to use a russet, but honestly, you could really use about just, just about any potato would be fine. The thinness is, you know, is key um, because you want a really crisp potato. So if you have a mandolin, great, use that. If not, just make sure your knife is sharp and pay attention and, you know, make some nice thin slices. And then the most important thing is to take those potatoes right after you slice them and put them in ice water. So, um, you know, they need to sit in that ice water for about 15 to 30 minutes just until they um, they lose some of the starch and they get really, really, you know, hard and stiff. Um, then you're going to want to dry those potato chips. So pull them out, dry them on uh, paper towel, make sure you pat them well. And you don't want to go really, you know, you don't want water, obviously, in your um, in your in your oil. That would not be a good idea. And so then you put those in, let them cook until they're brown, pull them out, sprinkle them with salt, um, you know, let them drain on a little bit of a paper towel, and that's it. Um, and you'd be surprised how quickly you can fry them and how quickly you can, you know, get a, a ton of them. Um, and, and there's just nothing like them. Put them in a zip-top bag, and then they're going to last, oh, I mean, they'll probably last for about two and a half weeks in, in a Ziploc. So if you wanted to do them ahead of time, there's no problem with that. And we're talking about we're talking with Elizabeth Heskell today here on Good Things. If you're just tuning in with us, she is a cookbook author. Um, and your latest cookbook is What Can I Bring or What Should I Bring? Correct me. Which way is it? So it's yeah. So it's What Can I Bring? And it's actually that that um, that book is now, believe it or not, almost three years old. Um, wow. Still, yeah, I know it's still on sale. It's still doing great. And then we came out with the Southern Living Party Cookbook, which is a remake of the original 1972 Southern Living Party Book. 
that was one of their most popular books they ever did. So um, they asked me to rewrite that, and I did that, and it was a super fun book. And now my newest book, which I'm so excited about, and it's called Come On Over, and um, it was actually due to come out, let's see, what is today? Yeah, about two weeks ago. Um, and then because of COVID, we decided to go ahead and push it back to spring. So this book will come out in May 4th. Well, that will be a perfect time, too, to get us one to get out and cook for summer gatherings. But I bet when you wrote What Can I Bring or even Come On Over, it wasn't necessarily thinking about election parties. But that's what we're talking about here on well, Good Things. So if I am going over to a friend's house um, tonight or I mean tomorrow night to maybe watch some of the election stuff unfold, uh, what what would be a good thing to maybe bring? I know you mentioned the pantry popcorn, but is there an easy dip or dish that you would you would recommend? Yeah, I mean, I love I love spice nuts, whether they're um, you know just salty nuts with maybe an herb or um, a sweet spicy nut that you can make. And one of my favorites are these rosemary um, rosemary cashews. Cashews to me are just the finest nut out of all the nuts. I just for some reason I feel like they're very fancy, they're very decadent, um, and I am obsessed with them. So this one, this recipe, which is in what can I bring? Um, you take your cashews and just put them in the oven. Let them um, warm up a little bit. Cook them for a few minutes. You want the um, the natural oils to kind of heat up, which is going to intensify the flavor. Pull them out. And in the meantime, while the cashews are in the oven, um, you use butter and brown sugar. Mix those two together on the stove. Let the brown sugar melt so you're basically making a, a quick little caramel sauce. Um, pull your hot nuts out of the um, oven. Toss them with the caramel, salt, a little bit of cayenne, and fresh rosemary that you've chopped up. Oh, my Lord. So they kind of, you know, they definitely caramelize. They get that sweet, um, you know, bit of toffee sweetness. And then also you've got the salty and that little kick of the cayenne. They're pretty awesome. And this is, they're also a great holiday gift. But they're good for a watch party because, like I said, they can stay out all night long, you know, and and they're still going to be just as great as when you put them out at the beginning of the evening. Which is, too, something that you can take would be a jug of the Debutante Farmer's Bloody Mary mix. I know that's always going to be a big hit, no matter where the party is. Maybe yeah, even the night gonna, of the election. Gonna need, or we're even... all going to need some alcohol tomorrow. <laughs> uh, <I think> that's, <laughs> at least that's my plan. I'm not sure how everybody else is planning on getting through this, but that's definitely what I'm, what I'm going to, what that's going to help me. That and, um, you know, some of these other fun, fun dips and fun um, appetizers. Where can we find all of this information, Elizabeth? So everything, all of the recipes that I did today are at todayshow.com. And um, so I'd love for you to go there and you can watch the segment if you happen to miss it. And, um, and then find all these recipes as well. And when, when will you get back to New York? Because I noticed today oh. you, you brought it, you brought Mississippi Who to New the, York. I know, I know. I mean, you know, it's, when I'm, uh, that was one of the greatest joys was being able to go to New York and do the show and then, you know, come home and pick up my kids from the, from carpool. So it's kind of like living a double life. Um, but who knows? I think, you know, very few people are even back in the studio that, that actually work there. So, um, I think it'll be a while, but we will definitely get back one day. And where can we find you online? Oh, please go to Elizabeth High School Official. Um, I have tons of really great tips that we do every Tuesday, which is our Tuesday tip, our Tasty Tuesday tip. Um, and then lots of videos. We've got game day recipes. Um, any holiday, we're about to start our Thanksgiving push for all of those recipes. I do fun videos, um, and we have a really great time. So I hope you'll go to Elizabeth High School official and check all that out. Last question. We were talking about Christmas Eve earlier because I was I got out my grandma's plates. What's the one thing you're looking for Christmas dish wise? Mm. You know, it's always from it's cornbread dressing. Cornbread. It's the thing that I love more than anything. I only I only eat it twice a year because it's so special. I don't ever want it to become commonplace. So um, that is what I will be looking forward to. Well, I appreciate your time today, Elizabeth. Uh, thank you for, for it and all the great ideas. We will go check it out. I'll also post it in the Good Things Facebook group so they can watch the official um, viewing of it. And stick with us. We've got more Good Things up next.